Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. What we're going to do is this, some rainbow text. It's an easy one, nice easy one to start with, so let's get going. First of all I'll make a, oh, cancel that. Make a new document, control N but it's my video capture software has taken it over so I'll have to see that about the next one. Pressing F to full screen my application. And we start on the background layer with some text. If you press T, we've got black selected. Font doesn't really matter. Let's pick this decorative one. You probably won't have this one, but just to make it rainbow. Rainbow text. Press there to confirm that. Press Ctrl T to transform it and we'll make it big. There we go. Then we create a new layer on top of the text and it's select here, gradient tool. You may have that appear at the top. Just click on that little arrow down there. You've got various ones in there. You can get more of them by going here, photographic toning, just click append and then you'll see there's more down there. So we want the rainbow one for today. Okay. And then we start and end the rainbow at either side of the text, just slightly beyond the text, and that'll happen. If we reduce the opacity, you can see the text still there on the layer behind with the red just at the end and just at the start and at the end of either side of the text. Okay, so it has to be back to 100%. To get the rainbow just on the text, you press Alt and click between the two layers. And what that does is it masks the top layer into the bottom layer of what you've selected. In this case, the rainbow into the text. And there you have it. You can still do effects to the text, so if we click on the text, click on the effects icon, we can for instance devil emboss and that will look quite good still. Um, I'll put a drop shadow for all time's sake. Increase the distance slightly and the spread. And you can see the effects are unaffected, they're still there. And if you reduce the fill, difference between the opacity and fill, lots of people a bit confused about that one. The opacity takes down everything of that layer. In this case, the colours, whereas the fill won't take down the effects. I didn't make any difference there, that's because of the thing. So, shit, I fucked this one up, but never mind. There you go. You've got your effects and you can move the layer around so if you press V with the layer selected you can see we're moving the rainbow layer around behind the text because the two layers are independent of each other. You can also press Ctrl T and transform the text obviously at the end it goes off but you could drag it out for instance if your text was longer you can also rotate it around not happy with the way and because it's just a gradient the resolution shouldn't matter too much unless you go absolutely massive all right there you go that's the end of the tutorial i hope you enjoyed this one i'm sorry for the mess up with the opacity and fill that was my bad what happened again